If you have a face for radio, this video is for you. All kidding aside, I'm going to show you seven different ways that you can make money with just your voice. We're going to talk about some ones that are going to help you make a few dollars per day all the way up to making thousands of dollars per day. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn the seven ways that you can make money just using your voice. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com, and as a successful internet entrepreneur, I have made money with everything from security cameras to stand mixers, sound bars, microwaves, web hosting, and even online courses. If you want real affiliate marketing tips, tricks, and tactics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, click the first link in the description or go to AlstonGodbolt.com forward slash start for my free four-step cheat sheet to make money online with things that you already own. All right, so as I mentioned in this video, I'm I'm going to reveal seven different ways that you can make money just using your voice. Now, the first ones that I'm going to list are going to earn you maybe five to ten dollars per day, depending on how much you hustle. However, the good news is towards the end of the video, we're going to talk about my favorite ways and how you can earn as much as a thousand dollars per day. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first one, the first few, I should say, and the least amount of money that you can make are simply with freelancing sites. Now I'm over here on Fiverr, but you can do the same thing with Upwork, People Per Hour, Voices.com, and even Voice123. Now if we take a look at this, I can type in something like uh, voice over actor or actress. We can select female, as you can see here, and you can make anywhere between 10 and $35. Now these are gonna be really competitive. As you can see, there's 15,000 people, over 15,000 people that are vying for the same option. One thing that you can do to help narrow down your search results is to go and find buyer requests. Now, or as a buyer, I should say, I will put in a custom request. For example, when I was looking for YouTube automation voiceovers, I put in a custom request. Those generate far less competition than just coming here. So what you'd wanna do is go ahead and create a different gig on Fiverr, or you can do the same thing here Upwork. I'll show you those in just a moment, but you can create a voiceover, voice over actor or actress gig, and then you can do buyer requests. You can only do about 10 of those per day, but that's actually gonna help you make a little bit more money. You can see here, most people are making anywhere between five and $35. To get a better idea of how much you'd make, go over to seller details, and then you want to click on new seller because most likely you're going to be a new seller and you're going to see it's not a ton of money but it can help you get up and running but if we look you can do the exact same thing with upwork i think you can command a little bit more with upwork it's going to be just as competitive we can do the same thing with people per hour and one of the most popular ones are voices one two three it's also really competitive you can see here that it is used by over um, it says 2 million registered voice talent. So it means it's a lot of com competition. One way to narrow down your competition is to speak different languages. So if you speak other languages, that helps as well. But you can use voices.com or voice123. So that is the first way and probably the least profitable way. The next way is with ACX. Now, ACX matches voice over talent with people that have written a book. So if we look here, these people are bidding on different books that have been published to Amazon or uh, Kindle KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to sign up, it is free, and you'll need to create a couple samples. And then you can apply to different gigs. And the cool thing is, is there's two ways to make money. You can get paid with royalty, so getting paid anytime someone downloads your voiceover, or you can get paid a lump sum, a one-time fee. So if you have a uh, a great voice, you have a very good microphone, a, a decent microphone and a quiet place, you can take advantage of ACX. The cool thing is, is you can do all of these at one time. You're not just limited to one avenue. And so you can do both ACX and Fiverr if you wanted to. But if we look at this, we have 1,979 titles open for additions, 904,000 producers to choose from, and 288,000 audiobooks on sale at Amazon, Amazon, and iTunes. So there is some decent competition, but this is going to pay you potentially reoccurring income over a long period of time. You'll, you'll get royalty checks, which is really cool mailbox money. But that is number two, using a CX. Number three is actually with podcasting. Now here I've got anchor.fm up. This is a free podcasting service. It's, it's by Spotify. Um, and you can get started 100% for free with podcasting. And the cool thing is, is you just sit down with a microphone, whether it's your your um, iPhone or, or your smartphone mic, and you can start talking about a topic. And what most people don't realize is that you can make money in multiple ways with podcasting. You can make money by having ads 
placed on your content. You can make money with affiliate marketing. You can make money selling your own digital or physical products. You can make money with brand deals and sponsorships. Uh, you can even get money, make money with, with merchandise as well. So there's multiple avenues or multiple revenue streams that you can generate just from uploading a free podcast. Now, I heard somewhere that 90% of people that start a podcast don't get past the 20th episode. And so if you want to be in that top 1%, you just got to keep uploading. What I'd recommend that you do, and I saw this tip somewhere, is if you have no idea what to talk about, you can use a website like Quora and find different questions that are within your niche, and you can spend the entire time talking about those questions. And that could be a great way to keep your podcast going if you have no idea what to talk about. If you wanted to create a personal podcast, you can do that. That's going to be a little bit more difficult to get up and running because you don't have name recognition and a foundation. But with, with Anchor.com and, excuse me, with Anchor FM and starting a podcast, it can be profitable as long as you are consistent with it over a long period of time. The first two that I mentioned, you can start seeing money quickly, but with podcasting, it's going to take a little bit longer. After podcasting, we have YouTube. You could make hundreds per day, thousands per day, simply with uploading YouTube videos. Now, one thing that I've noticed, and I don't see it here, but one thing that I've noticed is that people are doing Reddit stories differently. Now, now listen to this, because this is important. Now, if we look at this one right here, um, in the past, people were just using voice AI for Reddit videos, and that got demonetized. And so what people are doing now is they're actually hiring someone to write or read these Reddit stories, and you could actually be that person. So if I do our space like this, I think this is, yeah, our space is one of the, the YouTube channels. Now this actually has a much better chance of being monetized because it's not AI. If we look at these, you can see if we clicked on one of these and maybe we'll watch a couple seconds of it, you'll hear that this is an actual person. So here we go. And so what these guys are doing now is they are actually having either they're reading it themselves or they're hiring someone to read it. And if you are just getting started, you have limited amount of money, you could actually read these yourself. And so what they're doing is they're just having um, static text on the on the screen and then they're reading Reddit stories. And this is a much better way to get monetized. And even if you aren't monetized through the YouTube Partner Program, you can again, you can get monetized with affiliate marketing. Now, for example, this is in the relationship space. You could recommend different relationship courses or books. You could actually, um, you could also sell merchandise. You could get some of these sponsored, some of these videos sponsored. Uh, you could sell your own course or own physical or digital product. You could even sell PLR, private label rights products and make money that way. So this is a great way to make money online without having to show your face. You simply sit down and read it and then you can upload it, add a little bit of text, or you can hire someone to do it, and you can make money. And this actually gets a ton of engagement. People love to comment on these and share their stories. So if you're looking for a way to make money, this is one opportunity. After YouTube is actually jumping over to TikTok, what you can do is do voiceovers or voice narration on different topics. You could do gaming, you could play video games and just narrate over the top. As you can hear, that's actually automated. Um, oops, come on. There we go. It's automated, but what you can do is you can voice over here. And just like and just like YouTube, you can monetize this with affiliate marketing, selling your own digital or physical products, selling merchandise, brand deals, sponsorships. There's just a lot of opportunity and you don't ever have to show your face. In fact, one of my TikTok accounts that I created, I don't show my face at all, and it's just simple voiceovers. After social media or using TikTok, you can go online and create a course. This is incredibly powerful. If you want to, you could use something like Udemy to create a course. A better opportunity is to create a course and sell it yourself. You can sell it yourself through Facebook ads um, or YouTube ads or even Pinterest ads. So, But you can see here that you can create a course in just about anything, package it up and sell it and never show your face. What I'd want to do or what you should do if you're looking for inspiration and ideas, come over to categories and find a category that you're interested in and do a little bit of research. For example, if we wanted to, we could look at business and we could look at sales and we could create an entire course on selling skills without ever showing your face. You would do a PowerPoint presentation and if you wanted to, you could even throw some B-roll over the top of it. And after an online course, the 
final way is actually selling a digital product. Now this is an example of a digital product that I have. Now this is a, a book that shows you how to create and sell your first digital product in 10 days, but you can create a digital product like a, a course or a podcast, an MP3. Um, there's all sorts of different digital products that you could create just using your voice. You could in fact do um, voice to text with Google Docs and then you could package that up and sell it. Once again, you're gonna throw some B-roll over the top as you can see on the screen here. I am just using with this video, I am just using text and I'm using um, I'm using B-roll that I got from a website called Storyblocks and you can do this exact same thing and potentially sell a product and it's really, really easy. Now, what I recommend, if you're going to sell a product, don't sell a digital product on Etsy because you get limited, you're limited on how much money you can make. If you're gonna sell a digital product, sell it with Google ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, or with organic traffic. You can start a Facebook group, you could start Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, TikTok. There's so many ways that you can sell your digital product that if you're selling it on Etsy, you're causing yourself a disservice and you're losing out on money. So just to recap real quick, we have the seven ways that you can make money. Freelancing with Fiverr, Upwork, People Per Hour, Voices.com, or Voice123. We have ACX Podcasting, starting a YouTube channel like I showed you, kind of like that R Space, the Reddit channel, uh, social media, online courses, or selling a digital product. Now that you know seven different ways that you can make money just using your voice, click the first link in the description for my free four-step guide to make money online with products that you already own. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodvolt.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website, alstongodvolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.